Welcome back. You're watching McLaren Port here on Today's Health, and we're talking all about treatment options for breast cancer. In this segment, we're going to be talking with oncology nurse navigator Julie Dickinson. Julie, welcome back to Today's Health. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about your role as oncology nurse navigator? Sure. Um, oncology nurse navigator, I try to reach out to our newly diagnosed breast cancer patients and regular cancer patients. They're the patients that have a lot of questions, lots of issues, lots of maybe confusion, being overwhelmed and worried. So having a oncology nurse navigator step in and try to help them throughout that course of their treatment, from diagnosis actually treatment to survivorship. Um, so I can be there from the diagnosis all the way through as long as I can educate them and give them resources. But I also want to make sure they don't have barriers to their care. I want to make sure that the reason they're not getting treatment or they're not showing up for missing treatments is because of financial issues or insurance issues or transportation support in the home, um, that those type of things. So I want to help remove some of those barriers too. So those are all things I can do to help. So that, that title, which initially sounds a little interesting, a nurse navigator, mm -hmm. is really what you do is help navigate. Yep. You, you help navigate them through the whole cancer journey from beginning to end. Yes. Can you give me a couple examples of things you might do to be helpful to patients? Um, well, I know most of the time I will look at the surgical schedule coming up and if I see that someone's having breast surgery or they're having a, a test come up, I, then I know that they've been diagnosed and I can call them. So I call them on the phone. That's my initial contact is calling them and, and just checking and getting an assessment of what they're going through. Do they need help? Do they need any resources that I can hook them up to. Um, I mean, a lot of times they may need Meals on Wheels or they need a social work referral or need to see a, a financial counselor because of insurance. So there's a lot of different ways I can help them. And and people might not even know exactly what they what they need and what they don't know. Is that true? Yeah, a lot of people, um, for one thing, there are, a lot of people just overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. They just sit there for, it could be weeks and not even be mobile until someone calls and says, okay, let's get on. What, what's your next step? What's your next plan? They really haven't even thought that far ahead sometimes. So um, I would say 100% of the time I would call patients at home and they say, I don't know, I'm doing fine. I don't have any questions, but they do. Mm -hmm. They always end up asking questions, and sometimes I don't know the answer, but I'll go find out for them. So um, they don't know what they don't know until somebody asks them. So, Well, sure, like you said, you're overwhelmed, and it's all brand new. It's like mm -hmm. anything else that you're, you're brand new, so you don't know everything that you need to be no, I mean, thinking of. There's lab work, there are um, workup, there's x-rays, there's scans treatments, uh, the side effects of treatments, how long they're going to be in treatment. Those are all things they don't even know to ask those, some of those questions, but you know, um, until just a great, great resource yeah, then. It, yes, and, and I'm available, so. They just, and they can call you or you call them, either one? Either way, I, I, even though I do reach out to the new diagnosed uh, cancer patients, anyone can call. That's just a way for me to get out there and kind of get to those patients who, who are in the acute phase of the diagnosis, but I get phone calls for all sorts of reasons all the time. And I'm, I'm glad to answer and we're glad to help. So, and I have a lot of resources around me to help now. You know, with radiation oncology, medical oncology being in our same building, we have, you know, um, financial counselor, social work. I mean, you have, have access to all yep. those professionals mm -hmm. too. Great, yep. So in terms of giving people information and resources, um, do you, like give them handouts? Do you put them on the computer? What do you do well, to help? Well, initially, um, Carmano's Cancer Institute now has these portfolios. They're like a, a briefcase that zips around. It, it tells us all about uh, Carmano's uh, Cancer Institute at Port Huron, all the resources that we have, the side effects of their treatment, whether it's radiation, chemo, surgery. There's a place to put the doctor's cards in, a place to write notes. So all that information comes from Carmano's Cancer Institute themselves, but I have access to American Cancer Society information, National Cancer Institute. Um, we do have information 
whether there's a strict chemo, what are their side effects, radiation the side effects, we give them all that information if they want it. Sounds like you kind of help organize them up too, which is awesome at that point to kind of help people. Sure. You know, sometimes you can give them that portfolio, but then they don't, they're stressed and they don't read it. So sure. if they bring it back to them when they come back, we'll go over those things again with them until they, oh, they finally get it. So How about families? No, my the first my first contact with them, my our patients are with them alone on the phone, but when they come in like preoperatively before their surgeries or after their surgeries, I'll go in and meet them and say, hey, I called you a couple days ago, how are you doing? So that's a great time to to meet the family, caregivers, um, significant others. Sure, I'd love for them to get involved in their care. They're the other set of eyes that can look to see if their skin is getting reaction from the radiation, or there's other set of ears that can listen to what the doctor says. They can write questions. I mean, having that love and compassion at home to support them through all this is is great. So I really encourage families and the support team at home to to be available. I mean, I want them part of the care too. Thank you. This is great. I'm sure patients and families feel very reassured having you. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. And thank you for watching our program today. If you have any questions about anything we've talked about, or you want a copy of this program you'd like a physician referral, please call us at Health Access. That's 1-800-228-1484. Or you can always watch this program or other today's health programs on our website, and that's mclaren.org forward slash PHTH. It's also a great resource for reliable health information. We hope you join us again next week for Today's Health. Today's Health is brought to you by McLaren for Dinner.